How to apply a smudge effect to text in DaVinci Resolve 19.0.3. Inside your project's edit window, I will first add a solid color background edit to the timeline. Find this by opening up the effects menu, and underneath toolbox, select generators, and click and drag a solid color edit to your timeline. With this new edit selected, change the color by going to inspector, and underneath generator, double click on the color box, and choose the relevant shade from the select color window. Here in this example, I will select white. Click OK once you're done. Now go to effects underneath the toolbox. Go to click and drag a fusion composition clip to your timeline, directly above the solid color edit you just added. Use the selection mode tool, which you can also do by pressing A, and holding in control or command if you're a Mac user, and clicking on each edit, and go to click and drag at the end to manually adjust the duration of both edits, keeping an eye on the adjustment duration at the top and the total duration of the edits that will appear at the bottom of the box which appears alongside your mouse cursor. Right click on your Fusion Composition clip and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside your Fusion Nodes panel, ensure that Media Out 1 is deselected by clicking anywhere in the Empty Nodes grid. Go to click on the text plus option in the nodes panel above to add one of these nodes that we will use to add our message. Click on the grey box alongside text 1 and drag your mouse cursor to the yellow arrow alongside media out 1 to make a connection and so that the text appears in playback. With text 1 selected, go to inspector and underneath text, type in the message that you wish to have appear on your video. Adjust the font, font style and size as you wish. If later you see the smudge effects overlapping in your text, you can spread the characters out more by adjusting the tracking value. If I increment the value here to 1.05 for example, the amount of space in between each character increases. I will also double click on the box next to color, and will apply the following dark blue ink styled color shade, using the hexadecimal code hash 00006A, which you can manually type into the HTML box. I will also highlight this code and copy by holding in control and pressing C so that we can apply the same shade to the distortion effect later on. Click OK once you're done. Return to the edit window. With effect still selected underneath toolbox, use the search box at the top of the effects library window to find the paper edge filter. Click and drag one of these to your fusion composition clip. With your fusion composition clip selected, underneath effect and controls, to apply the blurred smudge effect, change border filter from box to Gaussian. I will also double click on the box next to color, and will insert the same color shade code that I used for my text into the HTML box by highlighting this, and by holding in control and pressing V to paste, with hash 00006A appearing once again. Click OK. To increase the border thickness so that the distortion effect around your characters stand out more, you can also increment the value for border. Here in this example, I will increase this to 0.0034. Scroll down to the edge properties in Inspector. Increment the value for edge contrast to create a splatter effect as the distortion expands away from your characters. Reducing the value for edge roughness will decrease the amount of distorted effects that you see around your characters. Here, I will keep this set to 20. Depending on the appearance that you wish to apply to your final text effect, you can adjust the value for edge randomize until you are satisfied with the appearance. Decreasing the value for edge position X will shift the distortion effect to the left. Increasing this value on the other hand from the default 0.5 value will see the splatter effect be applied to the right. Incrementing the value for edge position Y will increase the amount of upwards distortion that you see on your text and decreasing this value will see the splatter move downwards. Here I will apply more right-sided and upwards distortion by changing edge position to 0.65 for X and Y to 0.7, followed by an increase in the border value to 0.005 to apply more Gaussian blurred feather to the text characters. To spread the distorted edge out towards the position coordinates that you applied for edge position more, you can increment the value for edge intensity. Here I will only do this slightly by incrementing the value to 0.12. And to ensure that there is no dark shadow appearing behind your text, reduce the value for alpha underneath shadow from 1 to 0, so that the color shade for your text stands out more. 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.